97.3 City FM. Relevant Radio. Always. Well, I would say I'm particularly scandalized by the revelations coming in from the National Service Secretariat that um, well in excess of 7.9 million new Ghana cities um, has been lost to the state as a result of people deliberately inserting ghost names into the payroll of um, service personnel and for that matter lining their pockets at the end of every month with resources that should have gone into doing uh, something better to better the lot of Ghanaians. Um, if you look at the figures coming in from the National Service Secretariat, we're talking about in excess of 94 million new Ghana cities um, lost to the Ghanaian taxpayer over the last one year alone. Now, let's put that figure into context. I mean, recently in Parliament, um, we were told that um, the government of Ghana was going to um, take a loan of um, around 45 million US dollars um, to do resurfacing of Accra roads because the roads in the national capital have become so bad. Members of Parliament were recalled from recess to take a decision on that loan together with some other loans. You can talk about a loan facility that is going to um, build um, an interchange for the people of Kaswa in the central region. Again, you can talk about the um, Kwame Nkrumah interchange project. We are getting some 150 million US dollars thereabout to deal with that one too. Now, if you put these things into context, it tells you that we are losing a lot of money as a result of petty corruption and multi-million CD corruption scandals at various levels of governance. And it is not always the case that politicians are involved. I mean, the, the, the scandal we're talking about at this moment is about civil servants, it's about public servants who have deliberately, allegedly, set up a scheme with which they are ripping Ghanaians off. And if you put that in context, you are talking about several roads that could have been built with 94 million Ghana cities. Because again, if you take it, the CD is now doing fairly well against the dollar. And if you multiply 45 million US dollars by three, what do you get? Something in the region of um, 140 um, you know, million um, you know, new Ghana cities. I mean, if you convert 45 million US dollars, you'll get something around 140 million new Ghana cities. What it tells you is that about 70% of that amount is what we have lost as a result of this scandal at the National Service Secretariat alone. So it tells you that we are losing a lot. Imagine we are able to save, you know, Ghana this amount of money over the next five years. What it tells you is that we can build a lot more roads in this country. We can build a lot more hospitals in this country. We can build a lot more you know, schools around the country. Mind you, just recently we were doing a story about how um, you know, special schools have not you know, been granted their, their, their feeding you know, allowances, as a result of which the heads of those schools have said that they were in danger of shutting down those schools. Again, this is a country where we are told that we do not have resources to ensure that students who are in government schools, senior high schools across the country, are provided the much needed funding they need in order to feed in schools. Yet, we have people who are dipping their hands into the national kitty and ripping all of us off. At the end of the day, it's a question of the political will to deal with that. That is where I'll commend President John Dramani Mahama, first of all, because um, just recently we were told that he, in fact, actually directed the Bureau of National Investigations to initiate investigations into the National Service Secretariat scandal. That is good news. But we should not just have a system where all the time what we do is to initiate investigations into scandals, get reports and put them on the shelves. And that is what it is. We require urgent prosecution by the Attorney General must prosecute those people responsible in fact, there should be a criminal prosecution and also there should be a civil action in our law courts to retrieve every penny that we lost as a result of this particular scheme.
I think the president will gain a lot of respect. He will gain my respect. He will gain my confidence if he's able to ensure that beyond having this matter investigated, he brings all those responsible to book by way of initiating through the AG's department, the Attorney General's department, criminal prosecution and of course civil action to retrieve the monies lost to us. Ninety seven point three City FM Relevant Radio Always.